What the fuck? <laughs> That's not even a crossfire. That's just double peeking. <laughs> Hello YouTube, today we are busting these Valorant TikTok myths to see if they actually work in game. We gathered a bunch of tips and tricks from my editor Ninja Wiz and we're gonna see if these actually work and if you should actually use them. If you guys want to see this stuff live, come on over to twitch.tv slash angle. If you do enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Shout out to Bonnie, great content man. More valuable tips that will help your aim. You need to stop standing still between bursts on long range fights. You should always strafe with the Vandal, otherwise Phantom players will demolish you. Remember to pre-fire commonly Okay, is this a Vandal thing only? I feel like you can do this with Phantom too, but it is a good tip. The ...angles with the Vandal, as you only need to land one shot and they're dead. For enemies on an eco round, remember to treat your Vandal like an op and hold long range fights, as otherwise you will get killed by Stingers, Judges, and Spectres. If you learn something from That's this fair, especially on round two, if you go buy a Vandal, you buy light shields. Please, for the love of God, don't pick corners that are like shotgun friendly, because then your Vandal has no advantage whatsoever. You just get hit with a shorty and you're dead. Video, please give me a follow. And maybe on Twitch as well, perhaps? Go check out Bonnie. What is Good the stuff. Oh, this if is another If you're trying to get a okay. higher rank alone, it can usually be very hard when your teammates are dog water. Therefore, you need to look at how much value. When your teammates are dog water? What do you mean? My teammates are always the best. <laughs> And bring to the team solo agents like Astra and Omen. Sky Omen. usually require good Hello? teamwork to play around them. Omen. So their solo value isn't that good. Omen. However, agents Omen. like Omen. Reina, Omen. Jet, and Chamber ah! are among the best agents to solo queue with. As they don't tell people to insta lock the list. <laughs> Sane solo value, and if played effectively, can easily carry your games. How to win more? Okay, can I make a case for Omen here, chat? If you're playing a good Omen, and if you're playing an Omen that caters to the team, it's a lot easier for your duelists to pick up kills and do lots of things. For example, if you play Omen on a set, you need to be kind of aware where your team needs smokes. Even if you have no comms, you see people in A, just smoke A main. You do lots of things, and you tell them, like, oh, dude, I'm flashing here for you go peek it don't wait for them to tell you what to do because then they're gonna be like oh but you should have flashed for me and stuff you need to be directing your team you know i am a bias slayer so please take this with a grain of salt how to win more by counting any counters in chat can we try to count from one to ten we have a counting channel in discord before whenever we reach a high number someone always breaks it so it's like one two three four five seven four it takes Doug Doug? Yeah, it's like Doug Doug, actually. I love Doug Doug. When the enemy tap, count one, two, three, then check. They'll either be retapping off the fake or committed to sticking half. I should have applied the same tactic on Arena here. Wait, that's a really good tip. How I like that. I feel like you can maybe jump and peek it over here, but either way, the tip is fine. Like, you can try to jump peek or something. I would love to just jump peek it. How to play smarter. You need to think like the enemy. I thought this was a bit, and I thought he would, like, run over to his enemy's house, get into his enemy's gaming yeah. chair, and then start thinking like, you know, don't mind me. One <laughs> My imagination went wild there. One. <laughs> <laughs> what will I do if I was Jet? Jet knows Holy there's two the mid and one late B. She planted backside, which means the best possible play <laughs> is to catch mid off guard by getting to yellow. Spike planted. They shot, but I'm sorry, the music this is just how gets you never to throw me. Around. Cross fires. By playing directly opposite your teammate, it makes your opponent be perfect. This is a really simple tip that nobody knows how to do. Like, actually, if you just set up crossfires when you have an advantageous position, you won't lose. Unless this guy is like tense or something where he, he kills you and flicks to you behind. Be tradable as they are unable to isolate their gunfights. Peeking off contact. One player will hold for the first contact of the opponent, whilst the other hides safely, ready to peek. Once the first player takes the gunfight, the second player peeks to secure oh, the round. Under, over. There we go! Each other, it's impossible to line up, allowing you to have a perfect two-on-one gunfight. Start using these strats to ensure round wins. Thank you, Fnatic. So watch this fight you're about to take. Beautiful! Beautiful! Everything's really, really good! The key here is you took your time. Don't rush these frags, because watch what happens here. Look at the Silva right now. This guy's fucking crip walking across yeah. the screen. This guy literally just won the fucking Power Bowl. He just got so fucking lucky. Look at this guy. He's doing a fucking lunge, you know? <laughs> if you just take your time, you pop this fucker in the head.
100 percent of the time i want you to go into a range you know that's fair because of deathmatch whenever i feel like i'm playing like shit i just tell myself to calm down i tell myself to slow down and aim for the head and usually i play better because i'm not rushing it so i like that slow everything down focus on putting your crosshair on the person's head in one tapping i used to have a coach in overwatch and i love the way that he described it he said worthy your aim is really shit and you're doing it in a really fast way right now you're on a scale you have fast and bad that's where you're at what i want you to progress with is to be slow and bad that's your next step then after a while you're gonna be slow but good at it that's once you've got those mechanics down you're gonna be fast and good at it but we don't <laughs> yeah. want to go straight to fast and good because you're gonna be all over the place and in inconsistencies oh god i'm sorry but i hate this tiktok soundtrack you know this it's like those tiktok like they're about to tell you a story this boy darman you know some sh Huh? I didn't know that worked like that, but damn. The sound check is getting to me, man. Okay, that is an interesting dart. I will say, but the times you are going to use this are very rare. If you are a Sova player lurking B and your team is going A, then you use this. But when do you lurk and when do you play Sova on split? Holy sh! This one's actually useful! Maybe not. I think they can wall bang that. But if they can't wall bang it, it's inside the box? <laughs> I was messing around in the range recently, and I think I discovered the best secret ever when it comes to improving the consistency of your aim. Something I had been feeling off with my aim okay. recently, so I loaded into the range and I just started moving around. I rested my arm naturally in the mouse pad and I started moving left to right, and then I noticed something. My crosshair was not moving in a straight horizontal line. There okay. was a slight diagonal movement to every horizontal gesture that I made. This then made me realize that my hand-eye coordination wasn't going to sync up in game if I couldn't get clean horizontal lines when I was moving my mouse. Now, I think this was down to my posture because once I readjusted slightly and I was naturally oh, moving uh -huh. my arm left and right, my lines became way cleaner. And as soon as I started playing again, I was popping heads for fun. Chef, this is for all you people who sit like L and play the game. You need to have your feet down. You need to have your back straight. <laughs> Bring your shoulders up, back, and down. Look at the difference. <laughs> and not play in the gamer pose. So I guess this is a posture check in a way, but go into the range and check this out for yourself because this improved my consistency a lot. I am always trying to find ways to be no, more consistent as a player, and this tip personally changed couch? everything for me. Let me know in my Twitch chat or Discord what if, your feet if this are helps dangling? you. How old are you? Me, and feel free to send this to your duo, who's really inconsistent. Bro, gamer Elmo's best. This tip will help you drastically improve your aim in Valorant, and the kicker is, it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes a day. What you're gonna want to huh? do is go into the practice range and okay. spawn as breach. Go into the corner and alt all the bots off of the platform. Okay. Once you've done this, go back to the starting point and shoot two bots so that they spawn in front of you. From here, you're just gonna practice your counter strafing side to side and clicking each bot's head. This is gonna help with not only your aim, hmm. but your movement as well. I hope that helps and don't forget to hit that. This one, I don't know if I like it too much. I'd rather just go into death patch and practice my crosshair placement. I don't know if counter strafing really helps that much in the long, I mean, okay, maybe in the top like 0.001% it makes that big of a difference. But I think if you're like in silver to plat or anywhere lower, I think your decision may Making matters more or maybe your aim does but i don't think uh, i don't know man what do you guys think think this is a good tip or to anyone who's like improved from like silver or from low elo to high elo how did you do it should do both because i don't know i'm kind of torn with this one good tip you just climb <laughs> yeah you just keep wrecked sometimes the best way to hold the site is to not play the site at all some maps in valorant okay. are nearly impossible to defend when playing site so to counter this we have to learn two crucial tactics together playing aggressive and playing retake Okay. When you know the defending's hard, you should set up a defensive push on one side of the map and mm -hmm. then leave the other players really far back on the opposite side to hold. In this case, if they were going C, they run into three or four and probably lose. Or if they go A, there's three or four people fast flanking with one person to keep them out of spawn. On some maps, this is mm. almost the only way to play them in high elo. 
the utility is just way too strong to deal with. So next time you're on one of these maps, remember that Good tip. for new players, part one for Sentinels, I would generally say Sage is quite easy to learn as her kit of abilities isn't that hard to understand. Most of her kit involves slowing down pushes. Or I think Chamber is probably easier to learn than Sage as a Sentinel. What do you guys think? Is it Sage? Chamber is a Sentinel. Not if you don't have aim. That's true. But then it will make you, it forces you to get better at aiming. Or supporting the team, so you shouldn't have a very hard time learning her. However, mastering walls will take some time. For initiators, all of them are pretty hard to learn. Although, I would say Fade is the easiest among them to learn. Not to master, though. Her kit shouldn't be that challenging to get the gist of. For duelists... For initiators, I think Sova is probably easiest. Mainly because controlling the Prowlers might be a bit hard for newer players. You don't really understand it too much. For initiators, probably Sova. Though. Her kit shouldn't be and because so was free stuff for duelists i would say reina is very simple to learn as her kit has a flash yep, fair. that doesn't blind teammates fair 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 non-ultimate simply heal her or makes her invulnerable for a short while however you need good mechanical skill to master her for controllers brimstone is by yep. far the easiest to learn for as sure smoke ability is very easy to figure out how to use i'm also live on twitch every day except Let's go! sundays so come mechanic for each duelist one essential mechanic for each duelist and Valorant. Duelist and okay. Valorant. When you use jet smoke, it starts small and expands later. Mm -hmm. Use this mechanic to peek an area and shoot anyone you see after through your smoke. When I mean, that's basically just the delay before it like spans. In the same way, you can even use jet smokes to one way. You just like in split, a lot of people will curve the smokes around mid and make it hit vent. After through your smoke. When doing the flash teleport combo as Yoru, Always teleport the moment the flash bounces. This way you will never get flashed and always have the perfect timing. Wait, is that how it works? I swear, sometimes I see zip tie flash and he gets kinda blinded like a little bit because the flash is high or something. Face boom bot is affected by her satchel. You can use this Ooh. mechanic to make it jump on ramps no and point anymore. without having to peek. Five second With boom bot can double you. By either jumping and when you land, press the S button and slide. Or by using the S button the second you stop moving and then sliding. This is quite useful for gathering info, but can combo very well with the second slide of her ultimate to catch enemies off guard. Lastly, when using your wall as Phoenix, aim it above the object you want to wall. Oh yeah, this that's way a the good wall tip. Passes through it. That's if a great tip for new the players. If is on the object, it, it will stop when it connects. Three Valorant tricks even immortal players don't know. Ooh! Good. All right, chat, we're here to learn. Do you know, as a Sova, if you mess up the charge for your lineup, you don't have to switch guns to reset it. You can just press E to reset the arrow or Q to reset the shock dart. Wait, what the f***? Wait, I always just changed my gun. I didn't even know that sh What? <laughs> Instead of switching gun. With Yuru, a lot of players panic and start saying he's on me, on me, when they see the blue indicator around their screen. This blue indicator appears when you are in line of sight of Yuru, not when he is on- Oh, that's fair, because it used to be. Some people are just too used to the fact that Yuru used to only be seen. Or you can only see the blue indicator when he's near you, right? With Neon, if you want to get the wall to go over walls, there's a projectile that needs to go above the object. If it hits anything, it will stop. So next time, make sure you aim high enough. That's the same tip as the site. Phoenix one. Top three pro Valorant players to watch to improve your gameplay. At number three is... Oh, we're going to guess. No, I've seen his name. Okay, the third one is Nats. Who are your guesses for the other two? It's Nats. It's Cryo. Because Cryo is like a very crosshair placement type player. I don't think it will be tens. I like... Som is pretty good because he plays controller too. I know Cryo is going to appear. You guys think Yay? Subrosa? Okay. Is Nats. If you're a Sentinel player, this is the guy to watch. By analyzing his Aspas? gameplay, you see why he's one of the best players in Valorant. At number two, I have El Diablo, also known as Ye. Oh, it is Ye! Yo, you f you. Damn. He's arguably, as of now, Cryo? the best player in Valorant. Cryo number one. Watching him, you will be astounded by his aim. And at number one, for you ranked demons, is Cryo Cells. Think oh, easy this guy clap. reached number one on the leaderboards multiple times. Easy clap. He's one of the best duelists in North America. Game sense is what separates low elo players from high elo players. Here are three tips to train your game sense that you can apply today. Game sense is understanding what is happening, what will happen, and how you can use that information to benefit your game. Timing. One way to level up your game sense is to record clips of frustrating rounds and watch Oh no, them we're gonna get hit with like an ad! Someone else and call out if a play was overly aggressive or peak too many angles. Oh. Notice any lack no of ad? detail or positioning that often fails. The more aware oh, okay. you are of bad patterns, the more... I think I'm just too used to people saying, oh, you know, if you want to learn, you gotta get this recording software and... <laughs> Or you can catch yourself in game and try something new. Another way to level up your game sense is to watch high elo players and professionals. And yes. Only focus on game sense. Exactly. Wait. Watch high elo players. Isn't that Apex? Is that Modern Warfare? Is that COD? It's time to watch some Call of Duty. 
focus on game sense. Notice how they react to enemy plays, use their util to apply pressure, coordinate with their team, etc. After a while, you'll start to play with the pro's habit in mind. The final way to level up your game sense is to watch tutorials and focus on specific things each time. Start by yes. running crosshair placement on each By map, watching this video. Game, then how to make plays as a team. Focusing your attention on specifics and practicing them will improve your game sense and win you games. Follow for more. Split aggressive omen entry. First, smoke heaven for your team. Smoke spawn? Okay. What? Use oh, second no. smoke to one way this box. Okay. Wind sight and TP into your one-way smoke. Interesting. This smoke leaves a gap you can use to swing. That's pretty good. That's not bad, actually. I feel like that'd be too predictable, though, because nobody smokes like this. Here's a color I know for a fact people in low elo don't do. I've been out of the ranked game for so long, Chad. You guys need to just play off my contact. Don't swing, Sage. All right, all right. So this man just said to play off his contact. And to be fair, that's a good call out by him. It's a three. Defaults are to figure out an enemy setup and find a weakness. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe two scenario, and if I went for that gunfight, I could have lost and made it a 2v2. This man saying play off his contact basically tells me and the Sage to play behind cover. And as soon as the Reyna sees someone on the map, that's when we could peek and get the kills. And this is how the round played out. I mean, the crossfire is like really basic. This is probably more important. One enemy remaining. Concrete, concrete. Oh, shit. What the? <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a crossfire. That's just double peeking. <laughs> Here's how to make sure you always have a good team comp. You just need smokes. Utility each character brings. Each team needs. It's all things. you need. A smoke to cut off sight lines, a drone or dog to clear close, and a flash to get enemies off angles. <laughs> now the remaining two slots you can flex. Normally you'd fill one with an agent that's good on that map, and the other with an agent that's good in the meta. Now let's try this out on Icebox. Let's grab Viper for smoke, Sova for drone. No, if you get Kale Omen. For yeah, no. Now, for the character good on this map, let's take Sage. And finally, a character that's good in this meta, definitely Chamber. Chamber? Now oh, meta this is probably comp. old. You can always go outside these boundaries, <laughs> and some comps are definitely better than others, but you can use this formula to ensure you never lose the game during agent select. Okay. Did we learn something new today? We probably did. I learned something new. I didn't even know that you could cancel the, uh, the Sova dart by pressing the ability again. God damn.